know where your heart at. Aware that. Uh. I like to think of the world as my playground. If you look under the About section of the Facebook fan page of local rap trio Esgal, it reads, quote, just kids trying to make something good for people to listen to. And that is exactly what they're doing. Esgal is 17-year-old Giorgio IMG Menensis, who's a senior attending Father Duane's Memorial School, 16-year-old St. John's Jr. Reed Meyer, and 17-year-old St. Paul Sr. Tyler Trips Tanaka. And they are making quite an impression and the local music scene. G and I, we first we went to middle school together, and um, every like he knew I could sing, and like later I don't know his freshman year I learned that he could rap pretty well, so we just started making music together, and it was just we we just made a few songs together, and uh, I heard that him and Tyler made a song together, so then that just came together that we just we made we started making our music just all three of us. So then we just thought we'd make a mixtape together. The teens who are full of personality are also full of positivity. Tanaka explains the meaning of their group name. Our group, like on Facebook, it's a uh, SGAL, S G A L. But um, what what it stands for is um, like this sober gang and live because. Uh, we were just hanging out one night and we are talking about how there's so many like uh, bad influences because over the summer there's like a lot of new music coming out like um, Taylor Gang, like it's Wiz Khalifa and his group and then there's uh, Wolf Gang which is Tyler the Creator and like we just like noticed there's a lot of bad messages, negative messages being sent out to like not only like kids our age but like little kids like I hear my little brother he's 10 years old he was listening to like that negative stuff and so we just wanted to like make a music that would be positive to where kids could like learn learn uh, like messages that could help them make positive decisions instead of like bad stuff. A relative of Tanaka arranged for studio time with local musician Edgar Flores who runs Elusive Light Studio and they instantly hit it off. Flores praises the boys saying they're truly a breath of fresh air and admires their positive vibe. I heard about them from um, Tyler's aunt, uh, Bianca Tanaka, and she was asking me, like, could you uh, do something for, for for my nephew? They're doing, uh, what was it, the graduation? Uh, her mom, was gra her mom wants to do, like, a CD for the graduation yeah, party or something? Yeah, so, uh, party favor. Party favor. So at first I didn't know what to expect because I never heard them before. So I was like, okay, uh, I'll do this as a favor. And then when they came in, they blew me away. I was like, okay, this is going to be fun, okay, well, hold on, hold on, Let, let's do this, let's do that, let's break out this mic, let's, let's try this out, and from there, they just went beyond my expectations. And even though Menensis, Meyer, and Tanaka have their hands full with the interscholastic basketball season right now, when it comes to their music, they're true performers, which leave Flores in awe. That's cool, because I'm, I'm kind of like following them, I, we've been writing, I've been writing music for, for my band, and like I'm trying to figure out, okay, how can I get this going? And after watching these guys, like to think of myself as generous. I like to think, what if that was only like He admits after being in the studio with the trio, it makes him want to become a better musician. The cool thing about it is, they're natural. They just love what they do. It's all passion, and that's why I gave it my all and trying to help them out. And one way Flores helped was by producing a simple music video for S. Gal's single, I Like. Menenses says the song choice was an obvious one. We chose I Like because, well, first of all, it's catchy. I catch a lot of people singing at my school, and it's just like how, it's pretty much how we describe ourselves to people. Like, it, the song says I Like, so it shows that well, how we're like and how our, our interests and stuff, and it just shows people how we're like. Go. Flora said initially the three didn't want to do a music video. The whole video idea was they were talking about how like, they wanted to do a video. I'm like, hey, hold on, I got this camera that I want to try. And I, I can shoot video on it and these lenses. And next thing you know, it just came out the way it did. And I was just so happy with it. So it kind of blew me away, too. And apparently others have had the same reaction after listening to I Like, generating some great feedback from the music community. And the boys are thrilled. A lot of people say it's catchy, a lot of people 
love the song, and the, the feel, the beat, and everything. We have 2,000 views on YouTube so far, so it's going good. Aside from rapping, Escal writes their own tunes. A few of our songs could be from personal experience, just describing who we are with I Like. But other ones, with we have a song called Aaliyah, where it takes a girl who moves from the, like a small town to a big city and she makes a bunch of bad decisions. So we kind of just put ourselves into her shoes and see what would happen. And um, we have another song, She Needs Me, about how there's this girl with a guy who uh, Tyler is a, is a good guy and G's a bad guy. I'm just kind of like a bystander. And we kind of just, um, we say how we see the situation in the shoes of the different characters. So that's kind of how we just use our imagination. And when listening to their music, you can hear their musical influences shine through. My musical influence would be, um, there's a rapper named Wale. Uh, I don't know, like, his, his lyrics really, like, um, help me, like, open my mind to things. I don't know. I do also, like, individual stuff, and it's totally different from what I do with these guys. Like, my individual stuff, I came out with an album that it's all, like, jazz and standards. Like Frank Sinatra, you know, some Michael Bublé kind of things. But, um... When it comes to these guys, I kind of just take my influence from maybe John Legend and R&B singers like that. So, yeah. uh, well, I, from the way I rap, I, like, I really take J. Cole as an influence because his lyrics are really from the way the way he feels, his past experiences and everything. And it's just deep and that's the way I rap. With major swag, no surprise these boys love performing and step it up whenever in front of a crowd, whether it be John F. Kennedy High School's Winter Formal or Sweet 16 Bash. Whatever the gig, Eskel is ready. Tanaka says for the most part the response to their music has been good, but like with any situation in life, you can always expect some negativity. You have like the positive fans and the negative fans. Like, there's always going to be people trying to put you down. Yeah, but it's kind of like what comes with it. What do you say? No, I love them. I love you haters. Right now, Escal remains focused on completing the next tape, and they look forward to future collaborations with other talented local artists, such as Caleb the King. They hope to one day have a song of theirs on the airwaves. And since Escal is a group promoting positivity, what advice does Meyer have for aspiring artists on Guam? Keep doing what you're doing, you know. What's the worst that can happen, you know? Just keep making your music, do what you love to do, and, you know, you could end up, like us, really performing in a bunch of people, making a whole mixtape. It's been really, really fun for us. The boys said none of what they've achieved would have been possible if it weren't for their family and friends' support and encouragement. Flores says the door is wide open for Escal, and if they think it and want it, it's theirs for the taking. So become a fan of Escal and like their fan page on Facebook. You can also view their videos and other songs on YouTube.